Hello guys, welcome back on Creative Gardening. This is Murtaza and we are shooting a video from uh, from a like we are shooting a video after a long time. So now this is the first video and today we'll be talking about how to start a garden, an apartment garden to be precise because we people live in a small spaces so we'll be starting an apartment garden and I'm going to share you with you some tips, tricks, hacks about starting an apartment garden because it can be a little bit uh, kind of a prob problematic or it can be a kind of a issue when you are uh, when you're starting a garden in your apartment because you might have small spaces then there might be issues with sunlight then there might be issues with some tall plants you want to grow but you don't have space so we are going to tackle all that problems in this video so now the, I'm going to share with you four tips about starting an apartment garden and what you will need to start an apartment garden because if you're from India this is the correct time to start your garden because it is raining right now so and uh, there's a basic uh, thing that uh, cuttings and seeds and major things are started in uh, rainy season because you find a lot of moisture and humidity so there are chances that your garden which you start or the plants which you bring home will survive because in summer we tend to forget water or the plants dry out very quickly but in rainy season there is not a kind of issue with these kind of problems so it is the best time to start a garden right now so now coming on the four tips which I am going to show, show you guys share with you guys uh, about uh, starting a garden is the uh, is as follows and the first tip I'll be first tip is is find out what you have at your home in your garage in your junk in your junk pile in your in your spaces around you what what junk you can find what junk you can use in your garden so I found some junk like this you can find this uh, disposable containers I found thermocol glasses and I have a video about how to start a seed and cuttings in this so make sure that you watch it I'll leave it in the description box below and I am then uh, you can use your old pots also. This is the old pot which I had, which I got from garden center. So I'm just reusing this. So you can pretty easily use what you have at your place and just turn that thing into your container for go for the, for starting the garden. Now the second tip I'll be uh, the second tip is make sure that what you have uh, now you have this thing. You're taking uh, your uh, disposable containers, your thermocol glasses, your all different different kind of things you have. You must make sure that they are, you you have to need you need to have a drain hole in this because uh, containers uh, when you're starting a, uh, a plants in your containers you need to have holes so that your excess water uh, removes from the container so make sure that you drill a hole inside this and uh, you can use uh, uh, just you can paint you can give it a paint a coat of paint make sure that you paint it from the outside you you paint the outside surface not the inside surface uh, when and when the plastics when you're using plastic uh, bottles don't paint paint they are transparent basically so paint it from outside don't paint it from inside i have an example right now this is a glass bottle this is a honey bottle uh, and i have painted with uh, Asian paints of Asian Asian paint enamel paint I've been using on this. I've been painting it from outside, not from inside. If you paint it from inside, it can damage your roots, uh, your plants' roots. So make sure that you you paint it from uh, outside. Now, the third uh, tip and hack you have you need to know when you're starting a garden is like uh, just when you're going to uh, when you're going to buy plants, make sure before that you see like where is your uh, how much sunlight you're getting at your home. How much uh, space you have? What? How much amount of sunlight you receive in like from morning to evening? So what plants can uh, survive in that kind of location? You need to talk to your garden center people, and they'll tell you, and then they'll help you out about what plants to choose. And the last fourth tip I have for you guys is make sure that uh, if you are planting uh, your containers, like you need not to uh, buy uh, like. You need not spend a lot of amount of money on buying huge containers and big containers. You can just recycle your old containers. Uh, and how can you make this? If just make make sure that you are making this uh, look beautiful by adding a coat of paint, by adding some pebbles in it, and you can add some moss around this. And this looks pretty good when you add this kind of thing. It you cannot tell that these are old pots and uh, these are old stuff which you had. So. And have a one more tip. You can take you can take this as an extra tip for me. 
from me. Uh, like when you're starting a garden, when you're going to buy plants to your garden center or to your uh, local nurseries, don't buy a lot of like 20 plants, 30 plants. Just start with small. Just buy three plants, four plants and just take plants which are very easy uh, and which has less maintenance. You can uh, watch that video in the description box below because uh, I, have, I have a video on that on how to like top 5 plants which are very easy to grow. So make sure that you give, a, give it a watch before going to local nurseries and then uh, you can uh, take 2 or 3 plants and then you can experiment with it and then you can uh, gradually uh, uh, increase your collection by, uh, by adding more plants and i hope you guys like this video make sure that you give it a thumbs up and share with your friends and make sure that you subscribe to my channel because i'm going to do more kind of videos about tips and tricks and hacks about apartment gardening and how we are going and we are going to start a vegetable garden very soon so i'll be shooting videos on that so make sure that you subscribe and i'll see you in the next one bye bye